Hello, beautiful. Welcome back to Oh Lovingly. So, have you ever gone into a store or a Goodwill or an estate sale or an antique mall and just felt completely overwhelmed and just distracted and then you end up leaving thinking, oh my gosh, I forgot to check for this, I forgot to look for that, that, and oh, I should have looked for this for their Christmas gift. I used to do this all the time. And something that I started doing to help remedy that problem is making a master list. So whenever I walk into an antique store or a Goodwill or an estate sale, I look at my list and I see what I'm looking for. I set my intention and I keep my kind of keep my blinders on for all the other things that you're gonna see because it's gonna be distracting and you're gonna see these pretty plates and some pretty crystal or a beautiful chandelier, but just keep that focus on your list. So for instance, I'm gonna take you with me and kind of walk you through my headspace and what I'm thinking while I'm going antiquing. And then later on, I'm going to show you things that I come away from my adventures finding and bringing home with me. But if you'd like more in-depth information on estate sales and how to know where estate sales are, click above. I have a whole video dedicated to just estate sales. Let's go. All right, this is probably my favorite neighborhood in Buckhead. Actually, our childhood friends live in the next neighborhood over. You actually met her in one of the recent vlogs. How beautiful. Here we go. The minute I entered this home, it it's one of those homes that has such a happy, inviting energy, and I didn't want to leave. Even after I made my purchase, I still hung around and just looked and got a feel for it. It was really so happy. I could tell that whoever was moving out of this home had lived such a full life. The dining room was exquisite. Every spread in the dining room was incredible. I was immediately stopped in my tracks by these pieces of fruit and I was struck by how intricate they were and how adorable they were. They just made me feel so happy. Every single plate that they had curated was perfect. I, I could have put every single plate on a wall. I love the federal clock look, little monkey guy. Always go into the linen closets. Repeat after me, gorgeous. It is a gold mine oftentimes. You have, I mean, look at these curtains. These were absolutely incredible. They had a lot of furniture that was actually really reasonably priced. I will show you my purchases from the estate sale later on, but it was off to the antique mall next. So this picture is actually something that has been on my list for a while. Antique stores are always a great place to find fur coats and estate sales as well. This is a booth that I particularly love. It's at the Park West Vintage store on the Marietta Square. Whoever owns this booth somehow finds the most beautiful things. It's always important to check the bottoms of the plates. These were, in fact, Bedalo Panero plates. I ended up passing them up because plates are not high on my priority list. I did adore this rattan side table, and it was under 100. I mean, that just reminds me of my grandmother. I love that little picnic basket. Always look on the underside of silver items to make sure it says sterling. If it doesn't say sterling, it's not. And if it does, it is. More gorgeous green plates. If you're not a huge fan of color, those black and white spode plates would be so gorgeous for your home. This toile fabric was so sweet. If I had something to use it for, I would have bought it. That was a very De Gournay room separator. And then this adorable little mirror. So sweet. Check out the matting on these. That base is incredible. This mirror is to die for. If you have an antique mall that has good mirrors, that is where you need to go to source all of your mirrors. 
loved this green color. This booth had a ton of Staffordshire pups, or as I affectionately refer to them, staffies. A lot of beautiful platters as well. Behind that plate were the most gorgeous plates. Some vintage ornaments, porcelain flowers. I loved those busts. I love looking through the plates. It's just so therapeutic. I loved that green one, but it was the only one. Oh, then this hand-painted pitcher would be so amazing for an autumn table. See, again, mirrors. If you have a good store that has mirrors like this, that's where you need to go to source all of your decor mirrors. I do want a planter like this, but it is not high on the priority list. This coffee table book, the colors were just magnetic. Then I popped over to a bakery on the Marietta Square. There were so many beautiful things for Valentine's Day on display. I may or may not have gotten something. I'll show you at the end. Goodwill is always a home run for me. This cute little handmade frame was adorable. I always do find a lot of silver at Goodwill. It's very weird. Again, you have to check the bottom. If it is silver, it will say sterling silver. Baskets. Goodwill is the place for baskets. If you like to display them or just have them handy, I like to stand up the basket trays, kind of like that, when I'm displaying them. So those are really great. I always take a little look-see through the clothes because sometimes Goodwill gets clothes directly from the manufacturer if they have imperfections. That was not quite heavy enough to feel real to me. It was pretty light. So I passed. It was pretty shaped though. My mom actually has one of these. It's, I mean, I call it a muffin warmer because we always put mini muffins in it and we put a little Bunsen burner at the bottom, but I really, I did not think this was real. It didn't have a marking anywhere. Treasures so far. Oh my goodness, that was a success. Let me show you a couple of things. First up, gorgeous. Vintage glass blown ornaments. So get this. Here's the price tag. These were three dollars, right? But you can always talk them down. I was like, this piece came off that ornament, and a couple of them look a little damaged. So uh, is that the best we can do on this price? And she was like, well, I can make it half off. So I got them half off. I'm awful, but you you can always talk them down. Repeat after me. You can always talk them down. But you have to find something. Like you can't just be like, can you take something off? No, you have to actually say, oh, look at the evidence here. Like this one's missing a cap. Wait, no. That one was missing a cap. That one was missing a cap. And then the cap had actually come off in the box. And so I was like, hmm. Is that indicative of an issue once I try to hang them on the tree? And then, so yeah, she took it half off. But they're so cute. Okay, so that's number one. Let me fix my bra and my hair. Adorable find. Number two. It's a little chinoiserie pot. That is the marking that you want. Made in China. It is so cute. Did you see the price? A dollar. It's so precious. I love the coloring of it. So fun. Okay, next, a gorgeous picture frame. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's what excited me. The detailing on the actual frame is 
gorgeous. And then there's a really, the matting is in really good shape. And if you know me, you know that I'm an artist. So every frame that I buy eventually holds my artwork. So I'm going to be replacing this. Oh no, there's an artist on the back. That's gonna make me feel more guilty about taking out someone else's art. Ruth Bedarian has been celebrating nature in all its moods and seasons and all mediums. Her career blossomed into commercial art as well as her interest in fine art when she was awarded a scholarship at the Art Students League in New York. Mm, girl. Her exhibits, okay, I already feel bad. I'm just gonna, I'll leave the painting in the frame when I put my artwork in there because I just can't bring myself to throw another artist's beautiful work away. And this is really pretty. But anyway, the frame, how gorgeous. This was $3. <laughs> Next one. Another beautiful gold frame. This one is ugh, divine. I love the knotting detail. Another matting in really good condition. And so, yeah. Yeah, it's actually a really pretty painting. $4. And it's pretty big too. Like, what is that? I need a measuring tape. But yeah, it's like eight by 10 at least in the opening. So, four dollars. So that was Goodwill. Next, I'll show you what I got at the estate sale. I really didn't get that much at this estate sale because I didn't need a lot of the things they had, but there are a couple things I could not pass up. First thing, this gorgeous hand-painted bowl of fishies. It's so cute. It's so cute. Do you wanna know how much? $15. Another great marking on the bottom. That's what you want to see. The made in China hand stamped. That is the true marking of a vintage piece. Um, so let me tell you about this and why I'm, I'm pretty sure the only reason I got it for $15 was because when I saw it on the dining room table, there was a really sweet guy who was working there and I was looking at it and there was no price tag. That is the best situation there's no price tag, then you say, oh, excuse me, um, there's no price tag on this. He looked at me and he goes, $20. And today, it was 25% off. $15, it's so cute, I mean, come on. Okay, so that was the first one. And then, probably my favorite find from this antiquing trip. It's a ceramic lemon. And I fell in love with it. I fell in love with this lemon, which led me to this apple, which was next to it. And then, ah, how cute. So how adorable are these ceramic fruits? I mean, I couldn't, I could not walk away without bringing these babies home with me. They're beautiful. So this one actually was cheaper than the rest because there is a crack right there and it has been glued since, but I didn't care. They're absolutely gorgeous. So the guy there who was kind of helping me with um, the bowl, I was like, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. And he goes, that is called Chinese altar fruits. I did not know what these were, but I knew how happy they made me, and I could not pass them up. They're so gorgeous. Oops, I don't want that one to chip again. I gotta be careful with him. So these two were 25 each with 25% off because I always go to the estate sales on the second or third days when they have the discount. And this one, because it does have a little sweet little chip on him, this was $15 at 25% off. I could not leave without these. So a very successful antiquing day. I'm so excited. Two of the things actually are for Steven. He doesn't know it yet, and he will know it by time this goes live. So, haha. -ha. Um, you, <laughs> you want me to show you something else I got? I'm naughty. Got a little cupcake with edible glitter. How cute. Treat yourself. That was a very successful day. Next week, I will show you how I style these items. And stay tuned, I upload every Sunday night. 
I hope you guys have had a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.